Hi, my name is Devin Knight. I'm the training director here at Pragmatic Works, and I wanted to tell you today a little bit about what's a really cool new feature called Power BI Subscriptions. Now, if you've used any kind of BI, specifically Microsoft BI in the past, you might be familiar with this term subscriptions, but let's talk about what it means from a perspective of Power BI. Basically, the idea of subscriptions in Power BI is the ability to have report delivered directly to your inbox. So think about it like this. You want to have things emailed to you rather than you having to go to the Power BI site and the service to be able to go find the reports that you've developed. And you want to actually have them delivered to your inbox directly whenever things change in the data. So whenever you've had an update in the data, if you've refreshed it or the data is just connected through a live connection or direct query, you want to have that delivered to you right away so you're able to see things as they update. That's the idea of how subscriptions work. Now, Power BI subscriptions are delivered as report images. So when you actually get and receive the report in your inbox, you'll see it as an image that you can then click on to take you to the Power BI site. So if you want to interact with the report itself, you click on a link and that drives you to the Power BI service. Now, you can either configure reports to be delivered daily or weekly, but as you configure them, you will be sent an email whenever the data is updated, no more than once a day. Okay, so you'll notice this whenever you go to actually configure a Power BI subscription that you cannot have one delivered to you more than once a day as of right now. You'll also notice as you do that configuration and you configure a report to be delivered that if you have no configuration for data refreshes that there's going to be some options that are missing. And so you'll see that as we get going here that you won't actually see the option for daily or weekly unless you configure a data refresh on your environment, okay, on your report. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how you can configure subscriptions here in your set of Power BI reports. All right, so the way that we'll get started here is I have a report open that you're seeing on my screen that's actually looking at oil and gas data here. And the reason why I'm looking at a report and not, and not a dashboard is because subscriptions can only be done at a report level. If you've created any dashboards, so if I scroll up to the top here and I see oil and gas and I look at the dashboard here, you see there's no options here to actually subscribe to the dashboard. All subscriptions are done at a report level. So if I select an item in here in the dashboard, it takes me to the report. This actually is a focus view here. Let's go down and scroll over to the oil and gas report here. And I find a report page that I really like and I want to get it emailed to me each day. Then I can do that by selecting the subscribe button that you see up in the top ribbon that's new here that you didn't see previously. So if I select subscribe, I'll see that there's a new subscribe option here where it says subscribe to email and I'm given the ability to actually configure a subscription. Now, because I have not configured a data refresh on this data set, you'll notice that there's some things that might be missing. So whenever you actually configure this against a report that has a data refresh configured on it, you'll see there's one other option that appears here right where this gray box is, where it tells you that you can configure this to be either daily or weekly. In this case here, it just says you will be sent an email whenever the data is updated, no more than once per day. And that's fine, you know, we're not expecting any data to be updated in here, so it's just going to send me the same image over and over in my inbox. I'll actually show you what it looks like from the other perspective here in just a moment. So what I'll see here is I can configure this and I can tell which one of the report pages, you can see all the report pages here on the bottom, page 1, production, 10A, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, these aren't very good report names. But I can select which one of the report pages I want to configure to be sent to me or as a subscription. So I can select whichever one I want. And then press, press save and close on the bottom to save that subscription. You can always go back to that subscription again if you wanted to by hitting the subscribe button one more time. And it'll take, to, take you here and you can actually subscribe more than once to another report here if you wanted to. So I can hit add another subscription. And I can choose another report page or the same one if I wanted to to subscribe to again. I don't know why you would do the same one more than once. but you can easily change this to a different report page if you wanted to to have more than one subscription based off this report we're looking at. All right, so that's kind of how the subscriptions work. Now, if you wanted to, you can always delete a subscription here. You can kind of pause one by turning it off. If you wanted to kind of temporarily turn it off, you could do that here. And you can also manage your subscriptions by hitting this Manage All Subscriptions button. And what we'll do is if you click on that, it'll take you to the, have, give you the ability to manage all the subscriptions for the workspace that we're looking at right now. So I'm in kind of your default My Workspace, and you'll see I have two subscriptions appearing here. The one that we just created underneath the Oil and Gas Report, and then another one here underneath the Training Revenue Reports. I won't show you the data from that because that's actually real, real revenue data. But I can hit the Action button here and actually configure the subscription. Now this one I do have a data refresh scheduled on, and so if I hit the down arrow here underneath the Training Orders, I'll be able to see that I have scheduled this to return back a report to me to my inbox daily. And so what it will do is it'll return back daily, it'll return back no more than day, once a day, even though I have this as kind of a live connection to a SQL Azure database. 
It's going to return back this as a, on a daily basis, no more than 24 hours between each execution of that subscription. You can also change this to weekly if you wanted to, but again, you're not going to see this frequency option until you configure a data refresh on your data set. All right, you can also go back to edit and report. That will take you to the same view that we saw earlier. And in this case, I don't really need to make any other changes, so I'm just going to hit cancel. That's really it. It's pretty simple to create subscriptions inside of Power BI now. You just go to the report that you want to build your subscription on. So say, for example, I go to this one, this different one. And once I select the report, let's actually go up to the report. You can simply hit the subscribe button up top, and then you're configuring a subscription on the right-hand side. So it's as easy as that to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on learning how to do subscriptions, and hopefully you'll see another one from me.